This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. It's Bayern. They take on Real Madrid, and it's coming up next on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And on the menu, action from Europe's Premier Club competition, the Champions League. This, the first leg of the semi-final. It is Bayern Munich, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, it could be cagey and it could be tight, but we've got some of the best players on view here and they'll want to show just how good they really are. I can't wait for this tie to start. Well, here is the Bayern side. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Joshua Kimmich starts with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Leroy Zane plays with Thomas Müller out wide. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Carvajal starts with Ferdinand Mendy in the fullback positions. And oh, can he finish it here, Derek? Excellent block. Musiala. They do like to press whenever they can. And Stuart, there's good reason to believe that Harry Kane's incisive presence could represent the difference today. Well, Derek, we know he can score goals in many different ways, but I think he's at his most dangerous when he's running with the ball and hitting his shots with power. It's almost unstoppable for the goalkeeper. That's what makes him a great finisher. Musiala. They stop them in their tracks. Vinicius Junior. Goretzka. Sloppy from Sané. Mendy. Pavlovic. Goretzka has it now. Thomas Müller. Promising move this from Bayern. He's in with a chance. Not to be for him. He went for power over placement. Well, you're right. He decided to go for the power, which in the end he couldn't control. He'll be furious with himself. That's a big miss. Eduardo Camavinga. Aurelien Chouameni. Mendy has it. Rodrigo. Flag raise for offside. De Ligt. Really getting stuck in. Rodrigo. And Bellingham. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Harry Kane. Mendy. Plattered away. Vinicius Junior. Really inventive stuff from Real here. A disappointing end to the move. Joshua Kimmich. This is Müller. Müller. 
and he's clear as lines. Possession one. Rodrigo distributing it well. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back on side. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Take it away. Vinicius Junior. Able to get his body in the way. And he read it well defensively. Goretzka. Harry Kane. Kimmich. Here's Goretzka. Goretzka! And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. He's driven in the corner. That is that for the first half here. Harry Kane, who has emerged as one of the leading striking talents in world football, but is he going to be a bit cross with himself based on what he's produced? Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he... Into the second half, then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Carvajal. Dangerous ball. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. Given away by Real Madrid. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? A well, fine reading of the situation. Alfonso Davies. Now Dyer. And the ball with Alfonso Davies. And a tidy tackle. Valverde. The free kick decision going the way of Bayern. Well, a little lucky to get away without a card. Might be his last warning, though. Carvajal. Oh, the threat is there. What a powerful effort, but just wide. And Bayern will change personnel now. Musiala. Onto Goretzka. A super tackle and they've won possession. Rodrigo. The size to shoot. And a goal! The opening statement of this semi-final. How important can that prove to be? Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Well, I love the celebration, but Ancelotti's got to get his players refocused now. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And into the last 30 minutes now. Kimmich. De Ligt. Now Dyer. A very good tackle. A 
out of play it goes and it will be a throw in it's a substitution for Bayern what a foul but the advantage with Real Madrid Eduardo Camavinga Real find themselves in a position of menace Was showing good vision and well positioned to clear great vision from Harry Kane a magnificent stop well it should be a goal but take nothing away from the keeper that's a brilliant save good refereeing waiting for a natural pause before booking him short corner what a commitment to defending well, another corner can they take advantage of this one well just listen to the crowd they know this is a big chance to equalize looking for the angle Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent fish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. Well, that face tells you everything. Ancelotti can't understand how his team have lost the lead here. Federico Valverde. Vinicius Junior. And Bellingham, well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Given away by Bayern Munich. stage might end up being a winner that's the hope in the Bayern camp and now a corner can they take advantage of it keen to take it short here nicely timed tackle Federico Valverde and now Rodrigo Now Bayern with acres of space out wide. The cross is on. He cuts it back. Well, body in the way. Oh, that's a top save. And it's still level pegging. Well, had that gone in, it really would have been difficult for them to recover. Well played the keeper. And there's the delivery. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. If Real Madrid could come up with a winner at this stage, it could be decisive. Well, a lovely chip, and it had a chance. Well, it's a really good effort, but he just can't get it underneath the crossbar. Well, time is running out to get this winner, but the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. A real opening now. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here.
Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? And there it is, the full-time whistle. It's advantage, Real Madrid going into the return leg. Yeah, that was a tight game, and I think they just about deserve their lead. But it's a slender one, and they'll certainly need to defend well in the second leg if they're to reach the final. And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a good all-round performance today only emphasised by the late winner. An extremely important moment, and boy, did he deliver. There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this massive clash, but now we need talk about it no more, and instead focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity to delight and dazzle, no matter who you support. All the action coming up next, here on EA TV. A really exciting night ahead of us here at the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Real Madrid up against Bayern Munich. Well, Derek, the first game was full of quality, so let's hope this one is just as good. Real hold the advantage from that first leg, but if they don't play at their best today, they could come unstuck. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Eduardo Camavinga starts with Tony Kroos in the centre of the park. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And so they start at 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer gets the nod in goal. Joshua Kimmich starts with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Leroy Zane plays with Thomas Müller out wide. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. And the attack continues with Müller dragging it forward. And the cross goes in. And ready to strike. There it is. And just the ideal start. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. 1-0 then. Lucas Vasquez. Aurelien Chouameni. Rudiger, the ball with Lucas Vasquez, Brahim, he read the situation defensively and did his job, and Bayern finding space on the flank, Kane, oh a goal, and one that could really matter in the quest to make it through. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And the finish from Kane is excellent. He times his run, he finds that bit of space, and he was never going to miss that. Well, they're up against it now, and doesn't Ancelotti know it too? So, back underway, off the scoreline, standing at 2-0. Kane got himself forward pretty well here Harry Kane Leroy Zane looked like a certain goal but that's a great challenge superb stop well he knew what he was doing defensively for the concession of that throw in Derek 
der Licht. Goretzka. Interception to snuff out the danger. He's in with a chance. Oh, it's cheeky. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. Well, they've had to dig in, but just look what that means to Ancelotti. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Jude Bellingham. Aurelien Chouameni. Eduardo Camavinga. Oh, nice ball over the top. But he tried in vain to get himself back on side. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Leroy Zane. Alfonso Davies. Jamal Musiala. Harry Kane. Zane has it. Mastery of the passing game. Must be a smart stop here. Well, it's such a close contest. Will a set play be the difference? And the short option preferred. And played in by Joshua Kimmich. Well, here's the replay, and it's a well-worked corner. They go short, change the angle, and then put the ball into the box, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Acres of space afforded Bayern and played in by Joshua Kimmich and striking it on the volley, just no luck. Well, good technique, but just wide of the target. Lucas Vasquez, Schuamini, Rudiger has it, Tony Kroos, Vinicius Jr. Mendy has it. Rudiger. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Kane. Kane. And he's broken free. And still danger here. Well, nothing untoward happened. Oh, in with a chance. It has to be, surely. And a goal it is. And what a significant one. They're locked together again. You just can't divide these two teams. An extra time, a real possibility. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Rodrigo. Mendy, the delivery, 
And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Second half excitement to come, we hope, here at the Bernabeu. And Bayern, the recipients of the free kick here. Eric Dyer. Kimmich. And Kimmich couldn't keep it. Shuameni. Mendy. And Bellingham. Well, thumped clear. Kimmich, well, pressing really high. Thomas Müller. Real Madrid doing well to regain possession here. Valverde, chances on. And a goal! That could make all the difference. They'll be determined not to lose this lead. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway, and there we have it. Six goals divided evenly. Leroy Zane. Oh, fancy footwork. Pulls it back. And up for grabs off the keeper. Really sound defending. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Mendy. Rudiger. Aurelien Chouameni. On the ball, Rudiger. Kamavinga. Tony Kroos. This is Kroos. Perfect challenge. Sané. Now with Kane. Tony Kroos. Vinicius now with Mendy oh, showing good patience Carvajal on to Rodrigo and very nicely positioned to win it back 20 minutes to go in this one Kimmich and swiftly ending that attack now can they counter clinically? Vinicius Junior, they need to get bodies back. But really sticking to the task defensively. Harry Kane. Jamal Musiala. De Ligt. 
Now Dyer. Good tackle. Valverde. Oh, might be. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Jamal Musiala. Well read to win possession back. Tony Kroos. Here's Carvajal. Valverde. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. This might be ideal for the counter. Opportunity it is. It's still alive. Sané. Keeper did his job to begin with. Cleared away comprehensively. Kane. Gnabry. Oh, a goal! What drama here! Level pegging now, and who's to say what will happen next? Well, how about this? 4-3. Rodrigo. So, two minutes to be added on at the end. Leroy Zane. Now Harry Kane. Jamal Musiala. And if Bayern could find a late winner here, it might be decisive. Teammate and support. Brilliantly blocked. Under real pressure here. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, could this be the moment to see them through? Not much time left now. Over it comes. Only well, failed to get it away properly. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. So back in business here, the first period of extra time, and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? And making sure there was no danger in the end. Sané. Now with Kimmich. De Ligt. Musiala. Now with Upamecano. Given away by Real Madrid. De Ligt. Zane has it. Kimmich. Real Madrid's coming away with it. Needed to be more accurate from the keeper. Leroy Zane is in, and the keeper to the rescue. Well, he takes some beating, that's for sure. It really is a top-class save. Short corner it is. Gnabry. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into. Vinicius Jr. And he did well to cut it out. Good use of advantage by the referee in Bayern's favour. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. So at the halfway stage in extra time and 15 more minutes left.
And so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. Well, when all was said and done, he's failed to hit the target. Tony Kors. Mendy. Bayern throw in coming up. De Ligt. Here's Neuer. Uh, plays with a positional sense that is second to none. Oh, it's gone in! And that could be the goal that wraps it up once and for all. Well, let's take another look because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it. He couldn't have hit that any better. Too many score lines like this one. 4-4. Four, four. Eric Dyer. Serge Gnabry. Now Harry Kane. Eric Dyer. Time is fast running out. Five minutes left in the second period of extra time here. That's how to dispossess your opponent. And he's keen on cutting in. And he's in. It could be up for grabs. On well, a time for composure on the ball. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Real Madrid have given it away. And that's it, official now. Real Madrid have made it to the final. Well, there'll be some tired bodies out there. That was a tough couple of games, and of course, extra time as well. But they're through to the final, and I think they deserve to be there. They were so strong in that extra period. What a final it should be.